Hey guys, I'm gonna record you a, another quick video. Uh, this one's gonna be on how to create a thumbnail or just any any like uh, art, say like an album cover or YouTube thumbnail, TikTok thumbnail, Instagram photo, anything like that. Um, so uh, I personally use this method to create a lot of my thumbnails. Um, if you've noticed the last few videos I've made, I've uh, been using this method. I've been trying to practice it a little bit and get better at it before actually using it. Um, so basically we're going to use three things in this video. It's going to be Paint 3D, which is built right into Windows. Most of you are going to be Windows users. Um, if you don't have that, then there's lots of online editors that you could use. I might even be able to point you toward one. Um, the second thing we're going to use is ChatGPT. ChatGPT, we're going to use the 3.5, the free model. Um, we're going to use it to structure a request for another AI that is then going to generate us a photo. So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to use ChatGPT. So we're going to want to put a prompt in here of some kind that is going to get us another prompt for the AI that we're going to use it on. So I'm going to say, make me a prompt for a photo AI that will give me some cover art for a YouTube video or album art. The video in question is how to catch a fish. So that's the example we're going to use. Let's say we're making a video. We want to learn how to catch a fish. We've made our video already. Now we just need a photo for YouTube. So this is what it gives us. We're going to take this. Now we're going to copy this. So now what we're going to open is this. So this is straight from Microsoft, designer.microsoft.com slash image uh, dash creator. You can see it up here. I'll put the, uh, the link in the description just to make things helpful. And it's pretty much just simple, guys. We're just going to paste that in there. We're going to click generate. Yeah, we just basically got to wait for this to generate. Um, if you got a Microsoft account, you should be able to use this completely free. You get, I believe, up to 14 tokens a day. And see, perfect. Now we got a couple. Now let's say, let's say I don't like this. Let's say I want some text on there. So I say to ChatGPT, I want it to say something about fish, or maybe even have the word fish in it. So it gives us another one. We're going to grab this. I'm going to come over here. We're going to completely filter that out and put the new one in. I just got to wait another minute. So in my experience, when you try to add text, to any of these photos it will mess it up see this is pretty good this is pretty good but this is exactly what i'm talking about these two that does not say fish right so it's always better to avoid text when possible but uh i mean i like this one right here and it could even be changed to a 16 by 9 because as, as you can see here there's a 4 by 3 image which means it's a it's a square right we're going to download this It'll ever uh, finish. There we go. And we're going to open that up with Paint 3D. This is where Paint 3D comes in. Cool. So now we've got this. But as you know, this isn't really going to work. This isn't a 16 by 9 image, which is what you're going to need for most things. Now, if this was a CD, this would be perfect. But we need a YouTube thumbnail. So we want it to be a little bit widescreen. So we're going to select this whole image. Now it's selected. Now I'm going to copy it the same way you'd copy text. And delete it. Now we're going to go to our canvas. We're going to stretch this out so it's nice and wide. Now it's basically 16 by 9. And boom, now we got that. Take our brushes. Get the paint can. Choose a color. Now I want a color that matches with what goes around here. So for the most part, it looks like right here will look good. That looks okay, but not perfect. We want something maybe a little brighter than that. 
Ooh. Ooh, undo that. Okay, we don't like that either. Let's go right here. Now, let's say you don't like that, so let's try something else. Let's try the blue. That looks pretty cool, even though that wasn't what I was aiming for. That looks pretty cool. Now we got the blue. So anyways, this is what I usually do if I'm being lazy, but let's not be lazy. Let's do this the real way. Let's get our photo back in here. We're just going to crop it, guys. Simple as that. I'm going to cut off the top. We're going to cut off the bottom. Press enter. Boom. Now we get a 16 by 9. Uh, if we want to be a little picky, we can... Uh, oh, no. Undo that. Can grab this again. Copy. Delete. Widen it up just a little bit. Slap it in there. Try our best to get it in the center. Cool. And now we take what we learned a moment ago. We're going to do it again. But now we're using black. So now this looks a little, a little better, right? And you, I don't know if you can see the thing at the top there. I definitely can. So we're going to crop that a little more. And boom. Now we've got a thumbnail. Yeah, let, let, let me show you how to do the text real quick. Fuck it. So, if I'm going to do the text, let's say, I'll grab this right here, and go like this, right? Now I want to do, I don't know, guide to catching fish, right? I'm going to go over here, I'm going to bold it, I'm going to italicize it, and I'll make it real big. Maybe a little bigger, can we do this? Yes, we can. Alright, now we have this, made a little smaller, choose the color palette, I don't know, red, alright, you can make it a little bit three-dimensional, turn it a little bit so it lines up properly, yeah, and that's pretty much it, guys, so yeah, uh, I mean, if this video helped you, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, it's, it's not very hard, AI does 90% of the work for you nowadays, um, I would heavily recommend against doing text unless you have a lot of patience and are willing to continually keep regenerating photos until you uh, get what you need. Even if you run out of tokens, you could always just make another a Microsoft account and go from there. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, see ya.